Hello and welcome back to our Uli Let's Play Poorly. Alright, so when last we were here, we were actually doing the, the mod list, but now we are back in business here. Where the heck are we going? Oh yeah, we're going to Zadie's. Alright. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, so we are at an agriculture planet, so the next one over, hmm, maybe there. Let's see what we got. I'm fully loaded, so that's not going to work. Uh, I mean, I don't have anything else to... Oh, we got the textiles. Okay, yeah, we're going here. At least we can do this. So Elite Starter has updated a fair amount since the last time I played, and uh, it's looking real good now. Uh, it's got the updating setup working right. Uh, it's done doing a really good job of filtering uh, OXPs. It allows you to save and load in sets. He's even got some built-in sets, quote-unquote built-in sets that you can apply if you're a new player. I am super, super excited. I really hope people get into the game using that. That's not what I wanted to do. This is what I wanted to do. Dang damn it. One of these days I really do have to put contextual jukebox on the um, in the manager. I just gotta get off my butt and do the last little bit that I need to do to make that work. There's got there's like a manifest file I have to update. And uh, and then I have to figure out how to get the permissions for uploading and the information and all that jazz. I have it somewhere. I know it's written down. Someone was very helpful. Uh, Chumley was very helpful in giving me the information. But I just never did it. Why am I burning all my fuel? I should have just looked for a place. Nah, I was too close to the planet, I think. Someone's having a fight. Why am I not targeting? Ugh. There's one thing I can't stand. It's a weird-ass targeting system. I'm looking right at you, buddy. There it is. There it is. Oops. Okay. What are we selling? Textiles. Uh, yeah, radioactive, sure. I can pick up the platinum and the querium, and that's pretty good, I think. Okay, now that we're here, 
We are still going to Zadie's. But we're probably going to skip. Yeah, these are all industrial, so we'll just have to go to Rock Hermits or uh, Fuel Depots to, to get fueled up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we're in a fight. We're in a fight. Dang it, dang it, dang it. God, I hope that's a I hope that's a missile. Am I close enough? No. Oh shit. No! Oh, come on. I'm... Okay, there we go. Oh, no! They don't... Oh, no! My missiles... Oh, no, they are. Okay, okay. I thought it was like... I thought it was a rocket. Oh, come on. Get it, get it, get it, get it! him up all right all right next guy next guy next guy oh no 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 he's not actually hurting me that much so that's okay oh uh, too much heat No shield level O. I don't think I'm hurting him. Oh shoot. Come on. I just need my heat to drop. Come on. Drop heat, drop heat. Go! Oh! Now there's four of them. Oh, I'm getting the hell out of here. We are going to have to go to the station. Hopefully we'll be able to repair ourselves a bit. Luckily, the system that I have that's broken is not that bad. I don't have to worry about it. Ah, frick. Not again! Oh, it's this. Is it the same guys? God, I hope not. Oh, he's not getting out of. Okay, come on. Come on now. Hopefully, we'll be out of the space lane here. Yeah, I definitely need a ship outfitter. 
Some damaged hull. Let me repair you. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. All right. But I don't actually have much money left. All right, let's see. Well, I could buy some machine... No, hang on, hang on. This is all... No, 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 this is, this is not good. I won't do that because these are all... This is way too industrial. And that's the most industrial of industrials. All right. So I realized I forgot to pick up some missiles, uh, two more missiles for my pylons. So I'm going to go with the next place I'm going to have to grab them. Oh, come on. The next place is a communist system, but it is a high level, so. Should be viable to pick up good missiles. Hopefully some cheap ones. Or maybe one of the ones that have the triples. Then I can have actually have six or something. They're not very powerful, but. Oh, come on now. Don't give me that. There we go. All right, I need to find someone I can, somewhere I can, uh, ah, there's a fuel station. All right. Oh, but it's really far away. Shoot. That's the problem. I only have 0.8 fuel left. Let me see if I can find a, a good vector to get away from people. There we go. Ooh, there's a cool ship over there to my left. What are you? Why don't you tell me? Oh, well. You would think knowing that all of these ships are very uh, of a specific shape that they would build these fuel depots a little bit wider it also makes you wonder why they make stations with mail slots for entryways It's because of the the game element of it, of course. Is it, it requires a bit of skill, especially from the original game, where that was one of the um, cool elements of it is that you have to be good at flying. In a game made in the, in a period of time when flying a spaceship was not even a thing that anybody really thought about as something that you could do in a game, at least to that extent. Ooh, salvage gang. Would, it, would they have stuff? Uh, I don't know. Eh, I can hear the sounds of the station, so we're gonna we're gonna go there anyway. Oh, it's around the other side, isn't it? Yeah. That was not the music of being close to the station, that's the music of being close to the planet. Okay, so I know we don't really want to buy and sell anything here. Well, we might have to sell some stuff because we don't have a lot of money. What I want to do is I want to check 
to see if there are any good missiles that I can pick up. That's a single one. Splacer missile. Several mini mines. Ooh. Frag missile. <sighs> kind of cool. Eye missile. Kicker. Lawmaker. Hmm. It's an immobilization missile. Okay, well, that's expensive, though. Military missile. Missile. <laughs> oh, three miniaturized. There we go. Lower yield speed and reduce range. That's what I want, I think. Oh, wait. Anti it has three warheads. Multi-missile. Yes, that's the guy I want. I know it's expensive, but I think I've got the money, so let's go. Let's go do that. I need about 4K, right? Do it. Nice. All right. How much money do I have left out here? Two twenty-one. I should do it. All right. One more. One more jump. Ooh. Hi, shippies. Would you look at that fuel station right there very nice that's where they belong if you're gonna if you're gonna build yourself a fuel station out in space you're gonna want to put it where people are gonna be right it's like a like a rest area on a highway Oh, oh, come on. I don't feel like I'm going head on. Oh, boy. Oh, don't die, don't die. Oh, it looks like I need maintenance, too. Ugh, that's expensive. You dock at the Union of Worlds station to find Scribe Calvain waiting for you on the docking ramp accompanied by two metallic psychiatric droids. She greets you warmly whilst the droids board your ship to remove the renegade, the shrubbery, and their respective containers. Excellent work, Commander Calvain congratulates you. Now we can get Petty Scribe Barrier in the treatment he needs. 
I'm afraid the only financial reward I can offer you is your expenses at the standard rate of one credit per hyperspace jump made on Bureau Business, capped at a maximum of 250 credits per claim. You made a total of 148 jumps in pursuit of the Renegade, and I have transferred the sum of 148 credits to your account. Wow, that's a lot. I mean, not a lot of credits, a lot of jumps. Seeing the slightly pained expression on your face, Calvin continues hastily, It's not much after all you have done, but Her Imperial Majesty has also granted you the honor of renaming Lave Station with a name of your choosing. Do you wish to use Scrab Calvane's remote link to the Galactic Almanac, da Almanac database to rename Lave Station? Yes! I would like to rename the Lave Main Station. <laughs> oh dear! Oh no! Alright, the registered display name field of Avalonia Avenged, currently assigned to the Galcop main, sta main system station in the Gal Galaxy 1 system of Lave, has been open for editing. Please enter the new name to be assigned at the command prompt below, and then press the Enter key. Changes to the database will be processed within 72 hours of submission. If you have opened this entry in error and do not wish to change the display name of this station, pressing the enter key without entering any text will leave the name unchanged and exit the editor. Awaiting user input. Holy cow, I feel like I have too much power now. Um. Um. What are we going to call you? Uh, Lave Station. I'm a Gal Cop main station in Lave. Avalonia Avenged. We're going to call you. Um. Well, it's got to have my name, right? Avalonia Avenged, so maybe Archibus. Um. Ooh. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Okay. Archibus. Amalgamated. I don't know. I don't think of anything else. Sat here for five minutes trying to think something, but my brain's not on fire today, so all right, let's go. Scribe Calvane slips her personal data pad, pad into her suit pocket and smiles. An interesting choice of the name for a live station, she muses. I will put out a press release before the update goes live, informing the media of the change. The real reason you have received this honor will not be made public. All's well that ends well, I suppose, Calvane continues. In addition to the return of our troubled colleague, the shade of paint he used to baffle our scanners proved interesting to Her Majesty's Imperial Tactical Navy Command. The baff boffins in Sector 5 think it could be developed into some type of cloaking device, given a little time and study. Scribe Calvane nods in farewell and walks toward the docking bay exit, her tail twitching in apparent satisfaction. There will always be a place for you in Her Imperial Majesty's Bureau of Records, she declares, and maybe sooner than you think, she adds as she departs. Oh, yay! Clapping noises. Oh, that's great. Okay, well, um, we're 49 episodes in. I feel like I've got one more episode to go and then we can cap off this run. And I think what I'm going to do in the last episode, uh, and the rest of this one and maybe the last episode, is try to get into a little bit of combat with my new missiles and uh, just see what we can do and uh, just kind of futz around a little bit. We are not going to be pursuing any further missions or anything like that because we've done <laughs> this is 50, nearly 50 episodes worth of this one particular mission. So uh, that was uh, exhausting, but good. It was a lot of fun. So. All right, let's see what we got here. We've got our weapons. Let's see if we can uh, find something to get into trouble with. Maybe I should shoot out a cop or two. Anybody out there that I could? Oh, there's a cruiser, system vessel. Oh, let's go kill it. Yeah, I'm. I've decided to turn to break bad. I've gone evil. Oh, I should probably switch my byline. There we go. Ooh. Oh no! Why won't it let me fire? What's happening? Why can't I shoot? Oh, there we go, because I forgot to arm it. Damn it. Oh, this is bad. Ah! Uh 
Did I get it? I think I got it. Oh, and then I died. Game over. All right. Well, we're going to leave it here for now. When we come back, like I said, I'm going to do one more episode of just uh, flying around and trying to get into fights with maybe some, some pirates and so forth just to test out the new weapons. But... Uh, that's gonna be it after this episode after the next episode we're going to cap it off at 50 and then take a break from Ulit and come back fresh maybe with a reduced set of mods uh, of OXPs and uh, try for a different set of objectives thanks for watching see you next time